This is the ECG of a young individual who underwent screening. This individual was asymptomatic, but had a brother who had been diagnosed with arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. This individual has T-wave inversions in leads V1, V2, V3 and V4. In the context of a family history of arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, this ECG is extremely abnormal and requires further assessment. Indeed, in Caucasians who are post-pubertal, T-wave inversions beyond V2 should always raise the suspicion of arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. T-wave inversions in leads V1 to V3 is the commonest ECG manifestation of the disorder. The story is somewhat different in black athletes in whom the presence of T-wave inversions in leads V1 to V3 is normal. I would only recommend investigation of black athletes with T-wave inversions in these leads if there is a family history of premature cardiovascular disease or sudden cardiac death, or if there are symptoms to suggest an underlying cardiac disorder.